I've got some stuff to trade if you're looking. Jonah? We're downstairs. Hey. Have you been down there? We were waiting for you. What do you think we'll find? The mural showed a series of trials. <laughs> I may know another way around. Okay, I'll go ahead and meet you on the other side. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jonah, I've come out in some sort of cavern. There are signs that people have been here. Jonah? Jonah, if you can hear me, I think I'm still on the path at the spider trial. I'm gonna get to the top. Incredible. Jonah, I'm at the next trial. The Eagle. It has something to do with the wind. I'm still tracking west. Heading downward now. There's an underground river. <laughs> What's at the end of these trials? The hidden city, but what else? I hope Jonah's all right.
Still standing after centuries of earthquakes and storms. Might be a ladder if it was the right way up. to pull this by hand. Looks promising.
close. The lever is too worn to hold the door. Yes, that'll hold. the way up. machinery. climb. face in a temple built in your honor.
I'm past the Eagle Trial. I must be closing in on the Hidden City. city must be near. Laura, I made it through. I'm entering a cavern. Jonah? Be more careful. Oh, shit! Can't stay here. Thank you. 
Jonah, I may have found it. The hidden city. I'm gonna look for the serpent with a silver eye. All full up. Can't carry any more. Pull up. Can't carry any more. Who are you? What's your purpose here? I'm a researcher. Lara Croft. They'll be back. We must find safety. Bring her. You're not only my son, you're my heir. You must not court unnecessary danger. Had you not been there, would this woman have found us? I'm glad you're safe. If you're not with the cult, how did you find this place? I followed a map from a temple. I was expecting ruins, not you or any of this. The cult. Why did they attack your son? I recognize their insignia. I know them as Trinity. I'm trying to stop them. Stop them from doing what? They're looking for an artifact. Uh, some sort of box connected to a moon goddess. Why do you want it? To steal it? Sell it? No. I just can't let Trinity, the cult, get to it first. They're too dangerous. Why? What have they done to you? They killed my father. Can I show you something? Do you 
you know what this is? This is by Titi. You're already here. By Titi, the hidden city. But what's this eye? That is a place of death and sacrifice. And you think your artifact is there? Yes. No, none who has gone has ever returned. I'd be willing to try. You would risk it simply to stop the cult? Yes. Bring him in. Jonah. Are you okay? Do you know this man? He's my best friend. Abby. She's fine. Who else is looking for you? There's no one else. I believe we're seeking the same thing. We will bring you to the serpent with the silver eye, but we'll keep your friend here. You won't get very far if you're lying, and he will not be comfortable. You don't need to do that. It's, it's fine. I'll stay. It's Lee. Get this woman some clothes. Would you? Keep him company. I'll be back as soon as I can. All right. Pretty nice place. Quiet. Rebel leader, I have to be careful. I am the rightful queen, Unuratu. Edsley, you still owe me a scouting report. Yes, ma'am. There was one thing this morning. Yes? I saw her Look around if you wish. I will be in the market of Brasserie ready to find a boss of the This describes something nearby. A lone sentry stands guard over me and his harvest. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Full up. Can't carry any more. But he was also very kind. Who are you? 
careful, friend of Unuratu. The Jaguar warriors. Don't get too close to them. They are always watching for rebel activity. And they have no mercy. But I saw. He has them. Enough, Taki. You lost your dice. Fine. But don't lie about... Are you okay? No. Pisco the dead took my dice. And no one believes me. But he took them. A dead man took your dice. Are you sure you didn't lose them? Ugh. You're as bad as the rest of them. I'm sorry. You're right. I'll tell you what. I'll pay very close attention, and if I see Pisco the dead, I'll ask for your dice back. Really? You believe me? It won't be the first time the dead seem to speak to me. All full up. Can't carry any more. Full up. Can't carry any more. Beautiful. I don't recognize you. What are you doing here? Where did you get that tunic? It was given to me by Unuratu. Oh, you are the Queen's guest? I meant no offense. Please, you must forgive me. It's all right. Don't worry. How may I help you? The gods favor us both. Very good. The gods favor us both. Here you go. I await your return. It's a bit humbling to be here in Paititi. I didn't foresee any of this. I was expecting an ancient place, artifacts, tombs. I just failed to imagine people. I was so focused on the trail of clues, I didn't even stop to wonder. I didn't mean to interfere, but Trinity's here.
Certain sassin. this? Cultist, waiting for their deity to appear. When the catastrophes come, the god Kukulkan must be sacrificed to power the sun. Otherwise the world dies. Sacrifice a god? The sacrifice is my duty. But this cult leader will take my place and attempt to become the god. He believes we can remake the world and live in a paradise of his design. Remake the world? What? I've heard those words before. There he is! I know him. That's Dr. Mingus. Behold! The instrument of our unity and salvation! Soon! Our dreams of peace and safety will be realized. They already call him Kukulkan, but his real name is Amaru. He was born here, but raised, lied to, by outsiders. The people believe in him. But you don't. My late husband, Saidi, was his brother. They had differences over the future of Paititi. When Saidi died, Amaru devoted himself to the cult. You have seen the storm. You are worried about worse to come. I ensure you that Paititi will persevere and thrive forever. I know him well. If Amaru is successful, all of us who disagree will never see this paradise. The rebels will be discarded. Not if they don't find the box. Yes. Our best hope is to find it first. Perhaps Amaru might still be brought to see love and reason. Death to the outsiders! Retribution will come! Hakan! Enough! We must strike while the snake is within reach. Justice will be met in good time. Do not jeopardize our rebellion for the sake of impulse. <laughs> Edsley, go scout ahead. We'll meet you at the edge of the mountain. Last warning. Follow Esley. Your clothing won't hide you long from these guards. Okay, I'll find the box. You've been warned to keep the peace. I was just out for a pleasant stroll with my son. Amar is losing his patience. It won't happen again.
Jonah, can you answer? Yeah, me and Uchi set up camp. Everything's okay. Dominguez is here. He's the leader of the cult of Kukul Khan. That's what Unaratu's rebels are fighting. What? He's been here for years. Trinity controls Paititi. Whoa. I'm going to the Eye of the Serpent. We have to get the box before the next cataclysm hits. The legend is that the Ring of Seven stand guard over riches. But I've looked all over the place and I still haven't been able to find it. It doesn't make any sense. The cast out knows the minds of the gods. Hmm. Can't figure out the dialect. I must be missing something. Are you Pisco the dead? You can see me? At last, Pisco is seen. Are you also dead, Ishiki? No. So you are Pisco the dead? I am Pisco, servant of the gods. I'm Lara. Lara. Nice name, Lara. You are not dead. Neither are you. Oh, but I am. As a child, I was to be sacrificed. I was brought to the mountain. The ritual was completed, but... But you survived. Only my body. I am dead to all my friends and family. I live by the offerings that are left for me. I met a boy who says Pisco stole his dice. Taki? He's the son of a very arrogant noble. He insisted we play a game. He lost. I don't have many things, but I won those dice fair and square. If you want, I'll play you for them. Do you want to play a game? What's the game? Talk to five people who have been cast out. Hear their wisdom and tell me why Taki lost, and I'll give you the dice. I can do that. Hello. Hello, Ishiki. It's rare to see outsiders in this city. Pisco sent me to speak with you. Ah, Pisco. I like him. You've seen other outsiders? Only one. He was handsome, gentle, and kind. We were in love. But our love is forbidden. Outlawed by the cult of Kulkulkan. That's awful. I'm sorry. I was sentenced to death. Tied to the cliffs and left to die. On the third day, I welcomed death. That's when he found me, the outsider. He freed me and treated my wounds. Who was he? I don't know his name. It's been many years, but I still hope to see him again. I often return to the cliffs near the condor nests and collect their feathers. They remind me of him. That's a remarkable story. Thank you for trusting me with it. Thank you for listening, Ishiki. I don't understand. It's almost like a creel. Said I'm a liar. Hello? Pisco sent me. Ah, did he? Did you say you were cast out for lying? No, Ishiki. I was cast out for telling the truth. That was my mistake. What happened? Should I say I've never seen an outsider? If no one believes the truth, it never happened. What outsiders? They dress in black and have strange weapons. They hide gold. I told the cult about the gold and the outsiders. They cast me out for lying. Lying? 
the gold was for them. One day, the cult will be exposed for its hypocrisy. So what do you do now? I lost everything, Ishiki. My position, power, reputation. But it took me losing all that to finally see. I had no purpose, no calling. And you found one? Yes. I serve the future by protecting the past. Queen Unuratu's line are the rightful rulers of Baititi, not the cult of Kukulkan. Everything I see, everything I hear, everything I know, now helps the rebellion. A worthy cause. I send people to steal the gold shipments the outsiders deliver from time to time. They never change the drop-off point. Sounds like you're making a difference in a lot of people's lives. Thank you for sharing. It was nice talking with you. You too, Ishiki. It is busy today. Kukulkan, <laughs> eh? Unurato and her rebels are the true sons and daughters of Baiti. I don't think anything could have prepared me for this place. The people, their history, everything they've lived and who they are today. To hear him tell it, Amaru, Dominguez, Kukulkan only wants to keep Paititi safe. But I've seen the lengths he'll go to, the murder and cruelty. I have to stop him. Where's my mother? She's settling matters between the guards and Hakan. What's it like outside by Didi? Well, a lot of things. It's a very big world. Bigger than Paititi? <laughs> Bigger than 100 Paititis. What? Will you take me there? I think your mother might have something to say about that. <sighs> what you're looking for is in there. How will I know when I found the right chamber? By the smell of death. If you survive, you can find your way back through the old irrigation system. I'll meet you there. Be careful. The cult often patrols there. ceremonial whistle used during human sacrifices. It is busy today. Kukulkan may have... Hey, 
Balletanis Jan Ekdin Akil Leishtukin. Hey, was dann? Maya and Inca stood shoulder to shoulder against their brothers on one side, those who wished to retreat and start fresh, and those who wished to expand and conquer neighboring territories. Can't figure out the dialect. I must be missing something. Huh. Ishiki, would you like to hear a story? One that my mother used to tell. I would love to. You've noticed the pools throughout the city, haven't you? Do you know why they exist? No, why? We once had a queen, a very vain woman. She ordered these wells dug so that as she walked through the city, she could always see her reflection. One day, she knelt beside one of the pools, and a fish surfaced. She became very angry. The ripples in the water ruined her reflection. This queen tried to capture the fish, but she slipped and fell in and disappeared disappeared. Many tunnels between the wells were discovered during the search, but she was never found. Some say the queen is still down there, trying to catch that fish. Thank you. That was quite the story.
I saw from the riverbanks. arrived at the right time. It looks like the cultists were just here. where they perform rituals honoring the sun.
won't last long if I fall in the water. Might be the way out. Can't make it across. I'll have to backtrack. create a path to mirror three.
Can't make it across. I'll have to backtrack. Thank <laughs> you. 
impossible. I can't carry any more. This is a formidable weapon. Heavy wood lined with sharp obsidian teeth. It could easily stop an unarmored enemy. And if the blood stains are any indication, it has. All right. Thank you. 
all full up. Can't carry any more. Through there. <sighs> oh. Oh. The smell. This must be the place Atsley mentioned. Steady, Laura, steady. You can do this. Thank <laughs> you. 
guess I have no choice. Is this one of the rebels? A serpent with a silver eye. I'm on track. The smell keeps getting stronger. Laura, how's it going? I found another serpent with a silver eye. I must be getting close. You? Talking tattoos with Uchu. <laughs> tattoos? Yeah, you saw Unuratu's right. <laughs> This is the only way, okay? Have to burn that barrier. Do it. It'll need an accelerant to burn. be a way to burn away that barrier. Gotta be a way to burn away that barrier. Gotta be a way to burn away that barrier. to keep moving. <laughs> I have to go deeper.
Is this some kind of bloodletting chamber? A barrier. Too heavy. Needs more talk. Damn, it's flowing to the wrong place.
to align the tracks. Okay, now to bring that barrier down. Now, to find the silver box. This must be what Trinity is missing. There's the little rebel prince.
Okay, I'll make my way back as soon as I can. I've never seen Uchu so angry. Uchu? Really? What happened? Mm, I shouldn't gossip, but he and Kabil were arguing. They kept their voices down, but you could see the anger rising off of each of them. My wife is very ill, as are many others. A sickness brought by the outsiders. Someone should do something. Why, Gabi? Hello. Are you an outcast? Yes, Ishiki. Hello. I heard you talking about a white capybara. Oh, not just one. There are many of them. Peace Go sent me to speak to all those who are cast out. You're a hunter. I am now. I was once a farmer, but that wasn't the life for me. I felt trapped. Forced to live up to the duties and expectations brought down by my family. I finally refused and went my own way. And a white capybara was responsible? No, Ishiki. I heard of them. One night they assaulted my field, trampled everything, but I did nothing to stop them. I just watched. They gave me an idea. A herd of these capybara all white. What if I could hunt them? What if I could finally get away from the fields? So you did it? Best decision I ever made. My father disowned me, gave the farm to my sister, but that's fine with me. I'm a hunter now. They call me Paimo the White. <laughs> Thank you for the entertaining story, Paimo. Thank you, Ishiki. Do kids don't authority where you come from, Ishiki? I think it's part of growing up, pushing boundaries. Are they in danger? No. The guards threatened, but when they were young, they threw rocks at guards too. Now I serve Ishiki. Hello. Are you one of the outcasts? Yes, Ishiki. I'm Chaska. I'm Lara. Pisco sent me. Pisco the dead? Sent you to me? Did you lose a game of Patoli? No. A boy Taki lost his dice. I'm trying to win them back for him. Pisco wanted me to talk to all those who've been cast out before he gives them back to me. I'm surprised he didn't try to play you for them. He is. Ah, well, all I can tell you is this. Like Pisco, I was cast out. I lost my job and my position. But not because of an accident, because of something I did and would do again. What happened? 
Do you have any children? No. Neither do I. I did not receive the blessing of Ishel. But for my mistress, I was the midwife for her three children. I loved them like they were my own, until I lost my position. What did you do? I'm a thief, Lara. What did you steal? A jade necklace. Why? The youngest, Kiara, she saw the necklace while visiting a friend. She took it. They were coming for her. They would have cast her out. She was an only child. I said I took it. My mistress took the necklace from me and threw it on the floor, breaking it. And cast me out instead. I'm so sorry. Don't be sad for me. I would do it again. Kiara's learned her lesson, and she has a good life. As for me, I serve Ishel now through my weaving, the way my mother taught me. And my Kiara comes to visit me sometimes. Thank you for sharing that, Chaska. Kiara was lucky to have you. Be well, Ishiki. Come see what I have to trade. Hello. Hello. You're Lara, aren't you? Uh... Pisco sent you. He did. I'm Moreka. That was the second time I heard your name today, Lara. The cultists are talking about you. You're the one who started the cleansing. The one who found the key of Shakshel. I am. Oh, don't feel bad, child. The cleansing was long overdue. It must be decided. Do we continue or begin again? That's not an easy decision. Did you hear that, Rimac? Deciding the fate of the world is not easy. <laughs> I like this one. You're right, Lara. It isn't. And if the cult of Kukulkan decides, they will enslave us all and call it protection. Won't they, Rimac? <laughs> he doesn't talk much. The cult is acting out of fear. Fear of what? Fear of the outside. Fear of change. But the same threats that are outside are in all of us. Fear is the enemy, not change. Change is the only constant. But look at me rambling on, Dreamac. The lady must want to buy something to help in her search. Enjoy it. Thank you. Enjoy it. Hmm, good deal. Enjoy it. That's not enough. Good luck, Lara.
Unaratu must be worried about Etsley. I have to tell her he's been captured. You've already spoken to them, haven't you? I have. But you still don't see it. They all had hope. You need to do better than that if you want to win the game, Lara. Hope is one thing, but all those who have been cast out have thrived in their new lives despite their circumstances. Even you, Pisco. Well, I am the best Batoli player Paititi has ever known. <laughs> Not bad for a dead man. <laughs> Not bad at all. So again, what did you learn? I learned that sacrifice can make your life better. That you shouldn't be constrained by the legacy of your family. You can find your own path. Love is stronger than death, and you need to believe in something greater than yourself. But ultimately, you can't control everything. It's what you make of your situation that defines you. Well said, Lara. You're sure you're not dead? <laughs> Taki thinks he lost his dice because he was unlucky. But it's not the throw of the dice that wins the game, it's the skill of the player. I see that now. What did you think of Moreka, the outcast? She was expecting me. She seemed to know quite a bit about me. Ah, she knows a lot about everything, Ishiki. She has the most wondrous items in her shop. Artifacts known only to the gods. I saw. You were lucky you found her. She often travels outside of Paititi, gathering inventory. She seemed the most optimistic. Of course she is. We have a saying in Paititi. We all create destiny. We don't choose our circumstances, only our actions. A lesson my friend Taki needs to learn. Well played. Thank you, Pisco. I'll bring the dice back to Taki. Unaratu must be worried about Etsley. I have to tell her he's been captured. Oh, I can't figure out what this means. I can't carry any more. found your dice, Taki. Oh, thank you. Didn't you say Pisco stole your dice? Everyone knows Pisco steals. According to him, you wanted to play a game and you lost. He wouldn't let me play again. Just one more roll and I would have won. Pisco wanted you to know. It's not the throw of the dice that wins the game. It's the skill of the player. Now that I have my dice back, I can practice more. Thanks again, Ishiki. Unaratu must be worried about Etsli. I have to tell her he's been captured. Careful, friend of Unuratu, the Jaguar.
Was den Katschkabitze war. Unaratu. Hatsley's been captured. I know. They're holding him at the barracks. We're working on a plan to release him. I tried to get him, I'm sorry. He's a warrior. What's that? Oh. This is a key. It looks like... It looks like it belonged to the mountain temple. It is adjacent to where they're holding him. Is the box of each shell connected to the barracks? Is that why the cold occupy the temple? It's heavily guarded. When we go in, it has to be sudden, silent. Is there a back way? Th there was one by the salt mine, but it has deteriorated. It's treacherous. I might be able to manage it. Perhaps. You did survive the sacrificial pit. I haven't been back inside since I was a child. But from what I can remember, the barracks are within an inner stronghold. If I can get in through the back way, I can clear a path and let you in. We will free Epsley, then go find the box. I'll take care of my son. You go after the box. I would go, only I can't abandon my post here, and time is running short. It would mean a lot to Queen Unuratu and the Rebellion. Hey, Lara, do you have a minute? Come over if you have time. Uchu and I were talking, and, well... Uchu, what's on your mind? The day of Edsley's coronation is approaching. Soon he will be a man and take the first steps towards becoming Paititi's future king. That sounds like a day to look forward to. It's the hope for that day that keeps a lot of us fighting Amaru and his cult. Sometimes we all need to remember what we're fighting for. Is there something I can help you with? When Esli's father Sairi died, Unaratu bestowed the honor of surrogate father onto me. One of my duties is to gather three sacred items for the ceremony, but... But with all that's happening right now, you aren't able to. What are these items? They are the savior's amulet, the champion's bow, and the King's Horn, each a blessing from the ancestors of the future King. Tell me what you need and I'll see what I can do. I already have men retrieving the amulet and bow, but if you could find Kabil, the instrument maker, and get the King's Horn from him, he would be doing us a great favor. He's been difficult. I sent two men and both have failed. Perhaps you could talk to his wife. I think I can manage that. Be mindful. Kabil can be prickly sometimes, but Abra, his wife, has a way of dulling his edges. What are we doing here? I never...
Father, father, come quick! It's the Ishiki! What do you want? We don't have time for Unuratu's rebellion right now. Are you Kabil? Uchu sent me for the king's... The king's horn? The call to the future? <laughs> Look at the good that future's done for my present. Just go! The cult found out my dad was making the horn. They poisoned our crops as punishment. Mom got sick. My brother Kuali went to the market to get herbs, but he hasn't returned. That's terrible. Let me see if I can find your brother and get the herbs you need. Thank you. Did you hear about Kuali? No. What happened? Abra Just fetch Kuali. Excuse me. Ah, Ishiki. How can I help you? I'm looking for Kuali, the son of Kabil. Oh, that poor boy. Chimali, one of Kukulkan's thugs, is holding him in a cell up at the market, waiting for the Ahau to come to punish him. Thank you. Be well, Ishiki. All full up. Can't carry any more. A herb thief. He must be very dangerous. Today it's theft, and tomorrow it's murder. That's quite a leap, don't you think? You really want to know what I think? I think we should round up all these little rats and drown them. Every one of them, especially Yumil. His father may be a serpent guard, but he is not. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Hello there. Hey, you're Ishiki. From the outside, right? Yes. It's nice to meet you. Well, me. I'm Yamil. <laughs> what sort of game are you boys playing? It's not a game. My father is a serpent guard, a priest. I took his ceremonial knife to show my friends, and Shimali the guard saw. Shimali knows what father would do if he found out I took the knife, so he threw it up there. Now it's stuck. Oh, let me see what I can do. Wow, really? Thank you. Thank you, Ishiki. You're welcome. Hey, wait a minute. The grown-ups around here always chase us away. But you helped. What do you want? Shh, I'll do the talking. So what do you want, Ishiki? I mean, is there something we can do to pay you back? I'm trying to help Kuali. You're too late. He's been sentenced to death. We can't do anything. And Chimali the guard hates you. Would Chimali chase you if you provoked him? Why? Because if he's not at his post, I can get to Kuali. Yeah, I like it. Oh, you can tell Kuali to meet us at the cave. He'll know where it is. It'll be safe for him there. I will. Let's go. Asto, Remy, with me. Samin, watch our backs. Then run to the cave. Stand back, Ishiki. We'll give you an opening. Shimali, you coward! You'll end your life as a slave! Come taste my plate! <laughs> yeah, and these llama patties, too. Run, run! The little thieves should be punished. Please. They were just herbs. I beg you, I'll... Your brother told me of your troubles. Wait, who are you? Someone who wants to help. I never wanted any of these to happen. I was only trying to help my mother get well. Where are the herbs? Give them to me. I will heal your mother. Go. Your friends are waiting for you at the cave. Thank you. Here are the herbs. I'll run as fast as I can. Hmm. 
I thought I told you to go. Kuali is safe, and I have the herbs your wife needs. Really? And did you come to cure her, or to barter for the king's horn? Here. This will help you. Bless you, Ishiki. Kabil, quit being an ass. Give her the horn. <sighs> Here. With respect to the future king. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you. No, I think I'm close to the mine entrance. Uchu says it's at the edge of the mountain. He sent a rebel ahead to open it. Thanks. All full up. Can't carry any more. Last to leave and first to return. Jonah's stories of you are true. The King's Horn, as requested. Did Kabil give you any trouble? You were right about his wife. She definitely had a way with his heart. Thank you for this, Lara. Of course. Uchu, what did you mean, last to leave and first to return? The men I have retrieving the other two items, they both left three days ago. Neither has returned. Do you think something's happened to them? It's Quentin that concerns me the most. He's young, likes to take risks. Jumps into the water before checking to see how deep it is. I know the type. Jonah. Jonah's right. That describes Quenty perfectly. I never should have sent Quenty to that damn place. Mm, what place is that? The old sister. It's where the remains of Manko are kept hidden from the cult. Who is Manko? He was a farmer who led Sairi and Amaru's ancestors out of Cusco to safety centuries ago. He is known as the Peasant Savior. It's his amulet we need for the coronation. Why was Manko hidden away? Manko's followers were known as the Order of the Peasant Savior. This rebellion was born from it. When the cult of Kukulkan first took power, they tried to wipe out the Order. Manko was hidden away in a secret place and kept safe. But over time, as the Order dwindled, the memory of that place has faded. If you like, I could go look for Quenti. You've done a lot already. Bringing back the King's Horn was a big gesture of friendship. I don't mind, really. Maybe Quenty can show me the best cliffs to jump off. Please don't encourage him. The entrance to the cistern is a cave above the white tree. Follow the trail, it'll lead you to it. Almost like a creel. Uchu said the entrance to the cistern was a cave above the white tree.
Beware. We've uncovered a wolf den in the area. But then again, maybe that is why you're here. All full up. Can't carry any more. Possible. I can't carry any more.
all full up. Can't carry any more. 